My name is Chris Ingman. The title of this work is Dust to Dust. And as you can see, it's a diptych. On the left is a pile of gravel that I put there. And on the right is um, a very similar looking pile of gravel made of the same material, but the mound has been rotated, I think it was 135 degrees, and photographed again. A few things that happened along the way uh, with this piece tested my patience. The first pile, the original pile, the one on the left, we made and this took about a day uh, because we tried several different types of gravel. Each one would sort of um, act differently and sort of fall differently. I mean, I wanted to make a shape that was like the other shapes in the yard so it took about a day to figure out what that shape would be and what material I wanted to use uh, to make it and I was very happy at the end of that first day and I thought okay I have a good mound I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna photograph it well it didn't work like that because that first night after we'd made the first mound it rained really really hard and I came back and the mound was still there it's still basically the same shape but we had to redo it because it was now in a condition that would not have been repeatable. So we spent a second day building it over again. And then I had to go back to Seattle and come back the following weekend to start the shoot uh, from that point and go on. When it came to take the second shot um, on the second weekend, I have about a 10 minute window, right? Um, and if I'm 10 minutes uh, too early or 10 minutes too late, then the image won't be sufficiently repeated visually uh, because the shadows will be different. Well, as you can see in the second image, it was a very cloudy day and uh, I had the camera set up and we had the mound ready to go uh, just how I wanted it in the camera. And I just had to wait and hope that I would get a sun break um, within that 10 minute or so window when I could get the shot and it was cloudy all morning and uh, with just a few peaks of sun coming through and I got very lucky because uh, I got a sun break that lasted about 30 seconds and I got that shot and if I hadn't gotten that shot I don't know where I would have been because I had to leave that day.